Hello friends, I'm John Michael Ryan from Skinny Atlas, New York, and today I'm shooting this video trailer for my new book, Poems for Skinny Atlas, The Thera Park Sessions. So I wanted to uh, do this little trailer to give a little overview of this book and published this earlier this spring. Today is August uh, 29, 2014, so this was published uh, throughout the winter and in March it was completed. It was uh, The entire book was written in Thayer Park in Skinny Atlas uh, last summer. So me and my wife made a lot of trips down there. And uh, it's, a, it's a book of poems. It's a book of photos from the community. And uh, kind of a unique topic there. And uh, then in the end there's a, a little description, a photo gallery that describes each, each picture, what it is. So it's, a, it's intended to be a gift book for the uh, visitor to Skinny Atlas. Um, that was really the, the market that I went after when I come up with the idea for this book. Um, I've got a little narrative here in the beginning for the preface um, about writing of the book and uh, kind of how the book came about. Um, so it really was inspired by my grandparents. Uh, so we start off, uh, we'll read one of these. Table of contents, um, waves, sounds that pass, when the bell tolls, sunset, water life, stones and water, industrial aged, Oasis of Green, Village Life, Friends, Highway 41 Ride, Mary, Sun, Home, Rain, Indigenous Spirit, Rainbow, and a Haiku. Maybe the thing to do is just proceed here, and now we'll read the first poem of the book. And uh, so it is a picture of uh, in their part of some wave action. Waves, silent when small, shushing when grand, and somewhere in between is the noise of the land. No energy when flat, a torrent when fast, the power of a wave created by wind's breath. Patterns so varied, a live scene and prance, checkerboards or circles, sometimes white caps. The waves of Skinny Atlas tell stories that last, stories from events of a time now past. Waves of light shimmer from their crest, reflect in all directions, a visual sign is cast. When the waves are flat, peaceful at last, skiers like it best because the boat can go fast. White caps roll through, they come down with a crash, and we only see them when the wind blows fast. Some are just ripples from a light breeze or a splash, others bob up and down as if in a dance. They'll bounce off a wall and head back to their source. Water travelers disperse at last. So I'm an engineer by trade. So a lot of this, a lot of the stuff in these poems is written from an engineering perspective. So energy and waves and movement. So and th this poem comes about from all the different times that I was there. Every day there was a different, different texture to the surface of the water, and I. As I, as I collected that idea about writing about it and started remembering all the different views of how the water looked like, um, I put it together in, in this rhyme and that's how this poem came about. So it was uh, totally inspired uh, from the park. That was kind of cool. So, um, so I don't want to keep this too long. I want to make it short. Um, but each, each poem is basically founded like that. So sounds that pass um, really is a remembrance of the antique, annual antique boat show. When the bell tolls, 
there's another one about um, when we're there, um, the, the church bell goes off every hour, so we know what time it is. And uh, so this this church here goes first, and then there's another one across town that's about a half a minute behind it. Um, so a lot of neat stuff. Sunset with a hot air balloon. That was a nice night. So anyway, so uh, I hope you can check out my book and pick it up locally. It's uh, it's available at uh, several of the local retailers, Creekside uh, Books and Coffee Bar. Um, so thank you for watching, uh, and I hope you can pick up your copy soon. Bye-bye.